Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So here's where we're at. The new track has arrived and we're not gonna be able to use it. I did not read the model number on the track before I bought it or before I replaced it. So the track that I had was supposedly a 144 that I purchased in 2005. As you can see by the 1602 398 number, this is a 151 inch track. So it will not work in my current configuration. The plus side to that is I gained seven inches. So there's that. But the track I already ordered will not work. So any of you fire cat owners already know that these are 13 and a half inch wide tunnels. So you can't just use any track. Nothing will fit. You have to cut them. And that was going to be the plan was to cut either side of this 15 inch track by about three quarters of an inch, just to make it fit. So the plan was to use this one, but I'm not going to be able to. And the only reason I found out before I cut it was I was going to do an update video on how to change the high faxes, considering that they were no longer installed on the, or that the skid was no longer installed on the sled, which would make the whole process just ridiculously easy. And I discovered a very dangerous problem. It is not supposed to articulate right here, unfortunately. It'd be nice to have a little door hinge right there to have it do some pretty interesting stuff. But if that was to break going down the hill, most likely what would happen is I wouldn't even be able to be pulled down the hill with a rotating track and have to be dragged down. So I'm glad I wasn't doing something up on the mountain when I discovered this the hard way. So we're going to go ahead and order another track. Instead of a 144 this time, we're going to go with a 151, and we will cut that one down. Why do I want to do this to an F7? A old, out-of-date, no longer technologically advanced. Why? I just like the sled. Everybody tells me I need to upgrade, and I honestly was looking at a couple this for this season. But I just, I just like the sled a lot. And to me, that's uh, the whole point. And, you know, eventually these new ones are going to come down in price, and I'm just not going to be able to say no. But for right now, I just, I just don't want to uh, afford that purchase. I like this sled. I like that I've had it forever. I know just about everything there is to know about the sled. The motor is brand new to me since I've just rebuilt it. And it uh, does everything that I want it to do. I just wanted a little more meat. And this was going to be my solution. However, we will have to find another one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, order another track. Get that in the mail. Get some new uh, skid rails. Is this one starting to crack over here as well? It's just on the top portion, thank God. Otherwise, that would have been pretty dangerous. Anyways, I'm going to get some parts ordered and uh, we'll continue this project uh, next time. Thanks.